Good morning. Anybody ready? Core and more today. We will do full workout, target core, little glutes. That's the more. It's usually glutes, um, hamstrings a little bit. Uh, sometimes we get some shoulders in there. We're not going to do a lot of shoulder today. There's going to be some shoulder stabilizers, but if you were with me yesterday, we did a lot of shoulders. So um, remember, all these workouts are kind of designed to go hand in hand in hand, so to speak, so that we can keep moving through the week and get all the different body parts, everything working together. So today, not a ton of specific shoulder stuff, but they will be here for some stabilization um, on some of those planks and stuff like that. We only need a couple of pieces of equipment. We need a mat. We need one disc or paper plate. One disc or paper plate. If you don't have it, that's okay. We need one weight. Can be something small, a soup can. Um, if you have a heavier, you can use a heavier. So I am going to, hi, happy Saturday, Joan. Um, I am going to use a little heavier. I've got my 10, my 10 pounder today. So that would be what I will use. When we get up, we're going to warm up. We'll start on our feet. We'll incorporate a little bit of balance. We'll start to get that core waking up. And then we're going to hit those glutes, wake them up quick, come down to the mat. So there's not going to be a lot of rest in between. A lot of these exercises mechanically will be familiar, um, but that doesn't mean they're going to be easy. So we will challenge and we're not really going to stop moving. So we've got a lot of stuff that's going to happen all in this nice short amount of time that we get to spend together. So that's probably enough talking. Let me take a look at what we have here. Oh yes, that's probably enough talking. We can come up to our feet. Remember, one weight, Ugh. big guy or a little guy, one disc. Don't need it just yet, but that is all the equipment that you will need, but we will start, hi, good morning, on our feet. Let's wake it up. Stand up nice and tall, big. Deep breath in. And exhale it out. Take that flat back down. Roll it up slow. Good stuff. Shoulders back. Big shoulder roll back, guys. So again, if you were with me yesterday, they worked, yes? Roll them front. We did some of the ply yoga moves with those little weights that targeted the shoulders, which kind of fun, kind of different, right? Roll it down. So roll it up and listen when you hold all those little small weights get a little more muscle burn tap it out right and left right and left <sighs> push those arms back just tap them good reach across good turn turn twist at that waist yes now reach it up Hup. good get nice and long through that rib cage Take it across. Good, nice, big, deep breaths, my friends. And push it back, push. Good, good. All right, guys, stop your feet here. Squat and lift. Again, squat, you remember, shallow first. Push those hips forward at the top. Press through the heels, down and lift. And up, good, good. Beautiful, listen, stand up, grab your right knee, hug it in, hold. Ha, stay there. Good, good. Bring it down and switch. Left. Oh, I got better balance on the other side, huh? Hold, hold. Bring it down, switch. Right. Good, bring it down, hold, left. Oh, see? <laughs> good, take it up right, make a circle with that knee, half moon circle, left. Good. Stand up tall, engaging the abs. Half moon circles. Make them nice and big. Opening up those hips, guys. They will work. They will work. Good. Two more. And beautiful. Grab your right shoe, hug it and hold. Lift up, look up, line it up. Don't sink like I was. Lift up, line it up. Good, bring it down, switch. Lift up, line it up. Beautiful. 
bring it down. Feet under the hips, hands right here, shoulders down, lift on your toes in three, two, one, lift it up and down. That was too quick for me. Lift up, down, good. That's the pace. Up, down, slow and controlled. Again, guys, I'm feeling my calves. They worked in that ply yoga, bring it up and hold. They worked, right? All of those leaps, all of those side to sides, all of that power up gets the calves. Bring it down here, lift and down and lift. Good. Pull the abs in and engage. Think about the balance, waking up that core, yes? Good. Shoulders out of your ears. Bring it up, hold high. Stay here. Take your two arms down in front. Palms face each other, sweep them up, stay on your toes. Ha, see that? Take your right arm down, keep your left arm up. Good, switch. Beautiful, you still on your toes. Take that other arm up. Sweep them both down, heels down, now lift. I'm looking down at you today, so that's what's making me give a little bit shakier balance, right? That's what I'm gonna say. But truthfully, it's just that's the way it is today, right? That's okay. Take it up, hold. Hold. Arms here. Palms to me. Sweep it up. Beautiful. Take your right arm. Sweep it down. Keep your left up. And switch. Still on your toes? Me too. Lift it up. Turn your palms out. Bring it down. Lift up. And down. Good, good. Lift and lower. Feel those calves warming up, waking up. All the muscles in your shoes, lift and down, and lift and down. Good, ready guys? Bring it up here, hold. Bend your elbows, take both arms up. Turn them up, press, bring them in. Listen, bring them front, open them wide. Bring them down, heels down, shake it out. Hey, good stuff. Felt those at the end, right? Point and flex your feet or pop your heels. Little pedal, little pedaling action or point and flex. Circle them. All right, guys, we're warm. First sets. I promise you won't look at me this way the whole time. We will be down on the mat for probably 80% of this class. But right now we got a little more on our feet. We need one disc. If you don't have a disc, you don't, it's okay. So watch me first. We have three exercises on each side. We're going to wake up and fire the glutes and the hip rotators, so all the little muscles. So watch me and I'll give you all your choices. First one, it's going under your toe. You're going to push back into a lunge and then drag it forward. That is exercise one. Second one, we're gonna come behind for the curtsy. Bring it up and squeeze. We're not coming out. We're gonna keep it here with the squeeze, press it back. In third one, we're gonna bring it around, heel on, and you're going to press to me. Sit back into a single leg squat. Watch me without, if you don't have it, you're going to lunge back, tap, you're going to lunge, tap, you're going to come here, same deal, tap. You can do it without the disc. Disc makes it a little more unstable because you're keeping that contact point the whole entire time and it's slippery. Um, another, what, real quick, watch. Knee stays up over the ankle. Come back, knee stays, I'm crossing hard. Knee stays up over the ankle. I'm coming forward, let me do it this way. Knee goes a little forward, but I'm only gonna, I'm shooting my hips back and I'm only going as far as I can with comfort. And if that's right here, that is fine. You go to your own range of motion. We have a couple sets on each side. So we're starting in three, two, one. Push back, drag it up. Stay with me, this is the pace. Push and lift. Now, if you have the disc, remember, you're kind of pushing your toe into the earth and that is okay. You can also use your arms, right? You brought them with, so let them work. Good, you can adjust anytime you want. You can make it shallower, your choice. You listen to your own body, protect your own knees, hips, yes. 
Keep going, press and lift. The rest of you is all neutral. Shoulders are down. Abs are fully engaged, guys. Couple more. And lift. Woo! Now, press through that front heel, go. Push, squeeze. Last one. Take it to the curtsy right here. Push back, side, cross behind. Squeeze, don't come out. Cross behind, yeah. Squeeze, I know. Hips are still pretty much staying forward, yeah? And then I need to squeeze this inner thigh at the top. Yes, you can. Good. Down. Squeeze, I like to pull these shoulders back on the lift. Urgh. Feel it right there. He's getting woke up. Come on, keep it going, take it down. And lift, chest high breathing, down. Remember guys, you can go shallow if you want it. Your range of motion, yeah? Hey guys, almost there. And push, and squeeze. Come on, come on, down. Uh, this is a bun burner, right there, right there. One more, yes, bring it up. Take it out front, heel on, ready, here we go. No breaks, push, bring it in. Remember guys, your own range of motion, but shoot those hips back a little bit, yes? And as you feel it, as you get warmer, you might go a little deeper. Push, if you need to hold something for balance, hold a sturdy chair, hold a wall, right? In class, I might say hold a friend, but you might be home, you know, you might be doing this by yourself in your living room, but good news is you're not by yourself. We're all together. Down, squeeze, push. This is just a single leg squat, guys. Yeah, push that heel into the earth. Bring it back, squeeze. On the return, feel that hamstring kick. Couple more, lift. Last two, squeeze, come on, best one, let's go. Down, and squeeze, beautiful. Stand up, shake it out, feel the leg that you're standing on, point and flex that foot, right? If you feel all those muscles in your shoe, they are woke up from the start. So, we do the other side. Line it up, three, two, one, take it back, go back. Drag it up, yes, yes, I am already starting to sweat. Hey, that's the good news, guys. Down and lift. Good. That back leg, the one that's moving, is pretty much staying straight. You're putting everything into front heel and glute. Down and lift. Good. I'm trying to see if I'm going to come off my carpet. My legs aren't that long, but sometimes. Keep it going, guys. Abs tight. Down. Lift and squeeze. Push through. Bring it up, yes. Come on, you gotta move with purpose here. This is a bun burner. We are waking them up. They got a job to do. Come on, down. Pull. Come on, guys, a few more. Push. Squeeze. Push that toe into the earth, then drag it back, two more. Push, lift and squeeze. Last one, best one. Curtsy, take it to the side behind, cross. See that, no break. And you keep the cross. So engage, wake up those inner thighs on that lift and squeeze. Yeah, down, squeeze, come on. Listen, core and more, the more is all of the other helper muscles. The glutes, the hips, the shoulders, the back, middle back, upper back, all of it. Let's go. Down. Lift and squeeze. Come on. And push. Use your arms, guys. Helps me with balance. If it helps you, use it. If you'd rather be here, use it. Okay? Come on. A couple more. Down. 
Squeeze. Dig, dig. Let's go. Ugh. Come on. You got two. Bring it up. Last one. Bring it up. Squeeze. Switch. Heel on. Push it out. Ready? Here we go. No breaks. Push. Drag it up. Feel that? Hamstring engage. And squeeze. Yeah? Sit back. Right back into that hip like you're sitting in a chair, guys. Okay? Yes. Your knee will come forward a little bit, but you have to protect. If it is too far and you think, ooh, no, no. Okay? I need you to focus. Down and lift. Good. Yes, I'm feeling it right here. Little muscle under the big. Let's go. Eight more. Squeeze. Remember, heel into the earth. Squeeze it up. Feel the hamstring kick when you go there. Come on, you got it. And lift and squeeze. Four more. Push. I'm feeling it, guys. In my shoe. All oh, those stabilizers. Hey, wake them up. Come on, remember, no free rides. One more. Push. And up. Shake it out. Good, good. Take that leg you were standing on, point and flex. Circle it, wiggle your toes inside of your shoes. Put your feet down and shift your weight from shoe to shoe. Yes? Take a nice big deep breath. You can kick this to the side and you can grab your mat. Grab your mat, we're coming to the floor. We've got a lot of work to do down here, guys. So our intervals, to keep us moving, intervals will be, here I am, two sets, two exercises, 30 seconds each, back to back, repeat them three times, no break. You can use small weight, heavier weight. First one, we don't need any equipment for the first one, it is body weight. Watch it and get. I will give you your choices. First one, knees bent, Feet flat, palms are together. You're going to reach, try and reach, crunch and push, getting a farther range of motion in between the knees. Chin is lifting to the ceiling, so I am not curling and looking where my hands are. I'm looking up if you feel like you want some support for that neck. Give me one arm here and you can always switch, okay? The arm reach is trying to give you a deeper range of motion. That's why. Exercise two, we go right to the bicycle. Opposite knee to opposite elbow. You can keep those legs out straighter. You can take them up a little higher. This protects the low back. Or you can keep them down and lift opposite arm to opposite knee. You can do any combination of those. That is enough talking. We are moving. Three, two, here we go. And lift. Now, with all of these guys, you have to keep breathing. Nice, big, deep breaths and move with purpose here. Come on, lift. Trying to get a little deeper each time. Squeeze. Come on, we do move this way in life, so it is okay to do some of these, yes? And ready? Ride your bike, let's go. Turn, turn, what do we say about the bike ride? Turn, it is slow and controlled. You are not in the Tour de France, okay? You are not racing down a hill. You are slowly riding up, feet are flexed, push and pull, push and pull. Try and get that elbow to the outside of the knee. Come on, friends. Dig in. Ready? Back to the first. Go. Hands together. Lift and crunch. Remember, if you need support for your neck, keep your elbow wide. Give me one hand and one behind your ear. Yes? You know, you can go both behind your ear if you really want. That is okay, too. I get more range of motion when I press. <sighs> ah! Yes, that is the noise we're making already, friends. <sighs> <sighs> Come on, ready? Ride your bike, let's go. 
push and pull, push and pull. I told you no breaks, push and pull. This is not easy. It is the tough stuff. Come on guys, this is your time. You have all day to give it to somebody else, right? This is for you. You're doing the hard work. We are together, let's go, let's work. <sighs> Turn. <sighs> Couple more. All right, ready, go. Next set, last one of each, go, crunch. Now I'm feeling it, guys. Feeling that heat right in the mid. Feeling the heat firing up right at that core. Breathe. <sighs> yes. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> Chin up. Yes, you got it. Work. Urgh. Come on, come on. Almost there. Fire it up. Ready, ride your bike. Here we go. Push and pull. Last set. If you're starting to get a little tired here and having trouble supporting, take your feet up higher, right? If you're having a little trouble stabilizing through here, take your feet up higher. Or put them down, opposite knee to opposite elbow. Crunch. <sighs> Come on, couple more. Uh. <sighs> Dig deep. <sighs> Ready? <sighs> Two more. And last one. Whew. Bring it down. Stretch out long. Arms and legs reach away. Good morning to the abs. They are getting after it here now. They are woke up. Yes? Yes or yes? All right, next one. We go glutes. It's going to look like this. Ugh. If you want one weight, you can use it. You can put it right on your hip bones if you want. First one. Feet are parallel. The bridge. That's it. We lift and lower. Now, I'm going to call out different pacing. Okay? So listen to me, each set, it's going to be a little bit of different pace. Feet, second one, feet together, knees together. You lift up, knees come out, knees in, knees down. Show you from this angle. Lift, out, in, down. That's the second one. First one, feet are parallel, you drive it up. We know what a bridge is. If you don't want to use a weight, you don't have to. If you don't have one, they work without it. Ready? Here we go. And lift. Bridge. Feet apart. Hip knees apart. Drive those hips. Drop. Good. Good stuff, guys. Lift. Push through. This is the pace. Stay with me if you can. Lift. Down. And lift. And down. Lift. Barely kiss that mat when you're coming down. Don't rest. It is not a rest. Fire up. Let's go. Lift. Down. Ready, guys? Last one. Feet together, knees together. Here we go. Lift up, knees out, knees in, hips down again. Lift, open, close, down. If you don't want this weight, take it off. Yes? Up, out, in, down. Abs tight. Abs are working. Back is working. Believe it, guys. Let's go. Lift, out, in. Feel it. And bring it down. Feet apart, knees apart. Bridge. Listen to me. Go up. Three, two, one. Drop down. That's a pace. Three, two, one. Drop. Abs tight. Slower on the up. One down. Lift. Lift. Squeeze. Come on. Come on. Hup. Ah. Come on. Squeeze. Slower on the up. Lift. Two, one, push through these heels. Let's go. Three, two, one, bring it down. Knees together, feet together, up, open, in, drop, and lift, out, in, down. <sighs> Come on, work. Good. Lift, out, in, keep going. Abs tight. Ha, make sure you're breathing. My weight is getting heavy now. Yes, up, out, in, down, up, out, ready, feet apart, knees apart, lift up, slow, three, two, that's the new pace, 
Drive it up. Drop, two, one. Press, down. Yes, you feel the work. It's a little harder when we slow that part down. Lift, three, two, one. Drive it up high, take it down slow. Slow, slow, lift up and drop. Come on, abs tight, lift, down three, two, feet together, knees together, here we go. Up, out, in and down, again. Up, last set of these. Hey guys, I just felt my inner thighs kick, right? We woke them up on those curtsies and now they're extra working. Lift, out, in, drop, come on, up. Dig deep, let's go. Out, in, down, last one. Open, close, drop, hold. That's a lot of those good bridges. Carefully set your weight down. You can hug your knees in if you like. Yes, you can circle around a little bit if you like. That's good stuff. That is good stuff, guys. All right, next sets. Watch me first. Two exercises. We're gonna get core again. We're staying the same side, no, no toys. Staying the same direction. Going to also work some spinal flexion, so watch me first. First one, legs can be out straight, sit up tall, arms up, and you're going to roll down, slow and controlled, all the way down. You're gonna keep your arms up, and you're gonna roll yourself up, and then stack your spine at the top. Now, you can also bend those knees. You can also give me about a half a roll up, if that feels better, if it's hard to lift your whole body, that is okay, take your time. Or if you need to help yourself a little bit, you can help yourself, right? Stack your spine at the top, and then roll it down nice and slow. Second one, going to look like this. I'll show you a couple of angles. You're going to lay flat, heels close to your booty, knees bent. Your palms are going to face up. You're going to lift your shoulders off. You're gonna tap your heel, Come to the middle, tap your other heel, come to the middle. So all you're doing, guys, is slide and tap, slide and tap. So that's going to work. Spinal flexion going both ways. So it's a little bit of a lift. Now again, one more choice that you have is to put one hand behind, tap, and then switch hands and tap. Feel it? So all you're doing is sliding on that. So think about it. It is not hard, it is very effective. Yes, ready? Rolling it down, here we go. Take your time on the roll downs. Keep your hands to the ceiling. Take your time on the roll up. Try not to lift your feet. Stack your spine at the top. Hollow it out, roll it down. Yes. It gets harder the more we do. Right? The more we do, the harder it gets. Ready? That's it, bend your knees. Here we go, reach, middle, reach. I am tapping my heels. My chin is to the ceiling. Slide and tap, slide. Think about shortening distance between your rib and your hip, yes? These are really good, guys working all kinds of little teeny tiny muscles that are hard to get. Come on, if they're playing hard to get, we're gonna find them. Two more, and flatten it out, arms up, roll up. Yes, sink back, hollow it out, slow. Slow up, and slow down. We don't have a ton of these to do, we want your body to work. Nice and slow and controlled. And if you keep those arms up, makes it more of a challenge. Stack your spine at the top every time. Ready? On your last one, you're coming down. Ready? Bend those knees, tap the heels. Tap, middle, tap. Remember guys, you can put your hand behind your head if you need to, if you want to. And tap, keep your elbow wide, yeah? Good, 
shoulders, head and neck off the mat, working little tiny muscles, the ones right behind your hip. These are responsible for lifting it. Yes. Two more. Ready? Flatten it out. Arms up. Roll it up. And roll it back. Yes. Come on, guys. Lift and roll. Down. Nice and slow and controlled. Huh. Don't let those feet come up. Do your best. Help yourself if you need it. Last one, bring it down. Come on, bend those knees. Tap the heels, let's go. It's like a side to side crunch almost, yes? This is the little muscle behind the hip, attaches to the spine. This guy's gotta be healthy too. Good, breathe. Come on. Nice and controlled, friends. Ready, two more. Last one. Whew. Bring it down. Oh, stretch it out long. Yes, you can. Ha. Hey, guys. That was good stuff. That was getting these teeny tiny muscles right here. They attach to the back of your spine. You got to have them. If you walk around and you got want to step up on a curb, you need those guys to be nice and strong. That's the way it works. All right. Told you we're not going to let a lot of grass grow. We are gonna to move to the next exercise. Watch me and watch me for the choices. Plank, Supermans. Watch me and watch me for the choices. You're going to be in the plank. You're going to lift opposite arm and opposite leg. Bring it down. Leg, arm. My suggestion, if you are going to do this, is that you lift your leg first, then lift your arm. If you try and do it all at once, sometimes makes you a little more unstable. You can, if you can work that way. I take it a little slower. You can also do, guys, planking on the knees and lift. Yeah, same muscles. Oh, see, I can fall a little bit there too. Same muscles, different level of stability. Shoulders back, don't round and Second exercise, we all do the same thing. We lay flat, lift opposite arm and opposite leg. So on this exercise, these back muscles are going to get a lot of work. So take your Superman planks nice and slow. Another choice, guys, if you're in the plank and you don't love the Superman, you can just lift the arms, yeah? Nice and straight out in front. All good, ready? Here we go. Superman, my leg lifts a quick second before my hand. Nice and controlled here, guys. This is tough. Try not to let those hips lift. Yeah, I just saw mine. Keep them nice and level. Woo, a lot of balance here. Ready, bring it down flat, thumbs up. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Lift and lower. Breathe. Pull your belly button in. So now this is targeting the back muscles even more, letting them really shine, okay? When we come back up to the plank, so many other muscles are helping. So this is that bonus for the back, extensors, lift. Breathe. <sighs> Ready, guys? Hey, find your plank, knees or toes, and find your Superman. <sighs> Head and neck in a straight line. If you feel like you're going to fall out, that's okay. That is okay. <sighs> Come on. Couple more. This is tough. <clears throat> You know it's hard when I get quiet. Woo, one more. Bring it down. And lift. Come on. Squeeze, lift from the glute, not the knee. 
Yes, lift from behind the shoulder. Now guys, remember, we're not doing a lot of shoulder in today's core and more. Why? They're getting plenty of work right here and on this plank. You can bet on it. Last set. Here we go. Shoulders getting it done. So we don't need a lot today. Ugh. Breathe, keep those hips level. Lift, Woo. it's hard for me to turn my head. So I'm gonna stay right here and focus. <sighs> Shoulders back, hips down, level, reach. Come on, couple more, two more, reach. Urgh. Bring it down, go, lift, squeeze. You got it, guys. Hey, just because your abs are on the mat, pull them in. Engage the core all the way. You a little out of breath? Good, me too. Those were no joke. Good, squeeze, couple more. Lift. Ha! Huh. And, ready friends? Push back, child's pose. Yes, you earned it. Push back and reach, oh yes. Walk those fingertips out in front. Walk them out in front. Feel those muscles lengthen with that. Stay there and breathe. You are good, stay there and breathe. I came up so you can hear me. Keep breathing. Huh. All right, we are looking good. We are going to use one weight for the next two exercises. Gonna look like this. You can go heavy, you can go light. You can go zero weight. Watch me first. First exercise, weight comes up over your chest. Legs are straight. You're going to lift your legs, try and touch that weight, bring them down as close to the floor as you can without arching your back, stabilize. So if that means you come to right here, that is your range of motion. And you're lifting those hips, okay? Or you come lower as long as you are not arching that back. That is exercise one, number two. And I'll give you choices for them. Number two, you're going to sit up, bend the knees, wait here. We're going to sit back, two, three, and then lift. Back, two, three, lift and your spine is straight on this lift and you're hollowing out you can't really see me here but watch you're hollowing out two three but you're going to keep that weight close to you okay choices for this you can do no weight you can have your arms up and touch with no weight you can also keep the weight up bend your knees give me one leg at a time or straighten the legs one leg at a time yes and for this one range of motion might be smaller okay and you also don't even have to use weight or you can go with a deeper range of motion your choice we are moving that is enough talking we are moving in three two ready here we go lift and down Good, breathe. You gotta stabilize all the way through. Don't let that back arch up. If you have to tip your hips, you are at your range of motion. <sighs> Come on, work. <sighs> nice and controlled, guys. <sighs> dig, dig, huh. One more. <sighs> Ready, bring it down. Come on up. Here we go, sit it back, three, two, one, and lift. Three, two, one, lift. Stack your spine at the top when you come up. Shoulders back. It's okay if this weight comes out a little bit, see how that is? That's okay. Ready, one more, back, two, three, Lift, flatten it out, weight up, legs up, 
and down. Good. I'm shortening up my range of motion for a moment so I can make sure that I can stabilize all the way from hips to shoulders. Pull your rib cage together. I know that's a strange thing to say, but knit that rib cage together and you can feel it a little differently. Lift, down, ready, here we go. Back, two, three, hup, got it. Slow, 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 lift up. Yes, feel it guys. Time under tension, making that core give us everything he's got. Push, two, three, hup. Ready guys, last two, three, lift up, last set. Take it down, go. And slow and controlled. Woo. Lift those hips on the, on the up but don't swing the legs, guys. There is a difference, you know what it is. Come on. Breathe. Do not hold your breath. Come on, gotta have you here, let's go. Keep your shoulders on the mat. Don't round through. Come on, give me one more. Ready? Last set, sit it up. Hollow out, three, two, one. Lift, remember, three. Two, you go at your own range of motion, yes? If you want to go lower, go lower. Back, two, three, and up. Dig in. Ah, almost there. Exhale down, inhale up. Come on, one more. Back, two, three, lift. Huh. Set your big weight down. Take a moment, take a moment. Listen, hip flexors worked on that last one too, I feel them. Take your hand on your opposite knee, twist to the side quick. Go to the other side, we will get a good stretch at the end. That I promise you, we will take a nice stretch. Quickly sitting up, reach. We're not finished. This is a short break for you. Reach. Good, next one, we are flipping it over. Flipping it over. Plank with a weight or without, can be a heavy, can be a light. Watch me and I'll show it to you. Weight comes in between your hands. You go get in that plank, take your opposite hand, reach underhand, scooch it over, put it down, scooch it over, put it down. Let me show you from this way. Okay, look at my hands. I'm gonna be, and you can also do it on your knees. You reach underhand, scooch it over. You reach underhand, scooch it over. You do not pull. That will not feel good. Reach underhand, set it down. Got it? That is exercise one, knees or toes. Weight or no weight. If you're not going to use a weight, all you would do, touch touch. Exercise two, we go to all fours right here. Abs are tight, back is flat, opposite arm and leg reach. Backs are getting nice and strong right here. This whole day, all this, we're working it guys. Enough talking, three, two, ready, here we go. <sighs> so feet a little wide when you move your hand, yes? And try and keep those hips level to the ground, square to the earth. So you are not pulling and opening. Keep them here. Underhand move, side to side. Basically just rocking, guys. Ready? Find all fours. Reach. Good, good. Extend. Move with purpose here, guys. These exercises are meaningful. They are important. We can't just do the front of the abs all day, right? We have to work the back. We gotta have an imbalance, guys. 
We gotta have everything balanced out the best that we can. Reach. Ready? Plank and move, let's go. Be great if you just worked in front of the abs all day, right? But we gotta have the back. Everything works together, friends. Healthy, strong backs make happy, strong cores. Come on. Yes, yes, that is how it works. Come on, dig. Breathing. Ready. Find all fours. I move my weight so that I can give the full reach, the full range of motion. <sighs> Dig in. <sighs> Breathe. Head and neck. Straight line. <sighs> Abs are tight. Everything is pulled in. Supported, yes? Okay, guys. We got one more set. Ready? Here we go. Reach. <sighs> now, remember what I told you. Not a lot of extra shoulders. Hey, what's working right here? Middle of the shoulder. Yep. So we're sneaking it in like vegetables into your kid's food. We're sneaking in those shoulders in the middle of this core. Yes. Come on, dig. <sighs> One more. Come on, all fours. Ready, go, reach. <sighs> Last set of these, friends. <sighs> you are almost there. <sighs> Reaching, guys, breathing. Let's go. Beautiful stuff, couple more. And time, sit it back in child's pose again. Reach those fingertips way out. Stretch all of those back muscles. Woo! Stretch out all of those back muscles. Time flies when you're having fun. All right, listen. We're gonna do a couple on the side. Because we're running out of time, we're running out of real estate already. Can't believe it. We're going to do a couple on the side and we're going to get bonuses. So you're going to get your bonus. Don't you worry. I'm going to come up a little bit so we can see each other. Okay. So ponytail break. Grab a drink if you need it. Going to hit your sides. Watch me first for your first two. Going to look like this. Everyone is doing this the same way. Knees bent, body is in line. So my knees aren't in front of me. They're straight, body is in line, elbow under my shoulder. We're going to lift the hip and lift the knee at the same time and bring it down. That is exercise number one. Number two, we're going to lay flat. Tap the toe in front, up and over, toe in back. Look at my feet quick. Toe taps the floor, up and over. Toe taps behind. Body is in between two panes of glass. Then all you're gonna do is bend those knees and we're gonna lift. Choices for this, guys. If you do not love the lift here, you can stay low, you can alternate, okay? Or you can hold side plank, your choice. Bottom one, it's our second exercise. You're tapping up and over. We're all gonna do the same thing. Same muscles working, we're supported. Line that body up, we're moving. Three, two, ready, go. And if you think this one is not going to get you, think again, squeeze. Body's in alignment, good. You're driving that hip up on the lift, yes? I feel the bottom oblique and I feel that bottom glute kicking all ready. Couple more. Ready? And take your beach pose. Get long. Tap front. Up and over. Back. Don't roll forward or back. Hips are stacked. Tap and tap. Front. 
back, front, back. Come on, come on. Ah, front, back. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Listen. Body is in a straight line. Ready? Bend those knees. Here we go. Press and lift. Press and lift. Feel it. Yes. Ooh, I did too. I feel them. Feel the bottom half and that bottom glute, guys. Good. Top is working too, but you feel it in the bottom, supporting your body weight. Bring it up. Bring it up. Couple more, guys. And ready? Take your beach pose. Tap it front. Up and over. Back. Now you feel the little guy on top, yes? Just think what he's going to feel like when we switch sides. Oh, tap front. Tap it back. Abs tight. Stack it front. Come on. Ha. Dig, dig, guys. Let's go. Dig in. We have one more set of each. Oh, I'm feeling it. Ready? And here we go. Lift. <sighs> Barely kiss that mat when you come down, guys. It's not a rest. Okay? You're not coming down and sitting. You're popping right back up and press. Hips are a little forward. So you're in a straight line here. Lift. What else is helping? The shoulder. I know. We didn't tell him how much work he was going to do. So that's okay. It's our secret. Ready? Bring it down flat. Front. Up and over. Back. Yes. Hey, now I feel it. Fire up. Whew. Ah. Dig deep, guys. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's work. Ugh. Oh. Dig in, dig in. All right, listen. Couple more, couple more. Front and back. Let's go. Last front, last back. Listen, I know I said I was going to give you a bonus, and guess what? We got to the end? Not yet. <laughs> let's give it a break because we got to do the other side. Let's see how we feel. Then maybe, then maybe we'll get that bonus. But I'll tell you what. All of this right now feels pretty bonusy, if you ask me. <laughs> so, line it up this way. Body is in alignment. Elbow under your shoulder. Oh, yes. Feel it on this side. We're moving in three, two, here we go. Up. Now, now you really feel that bottom kick in, guys. Wow, because we just worked them on the top. Lift. Yeah, by the time we're done, you're gonna switch. The fire's gonna move from here to up here. Yes, it will, I promise, go. Barely kiss that mat. Body is straight, go. Press. Ready, take it down, let's work. Front and back, let's go. Tap, tap. Don't roll forward, don't roll back. Hips are stacked. Front and back, yes, go. Feel this guy going, yeah. He's like, wait a second, I already worked on the bottom. Well, buddy, you got more to do. <laughs> Let's just face it, face backs. Yes, and back, bend the knees. Ready, press. You can do whatever you want with this top arm. I'm going to keep it right here. Yeah? You can lift it up if you want. Right? You can give me jazz hands. You have disco point. Whatever it takes to block out how hard that bottom hip is working. And the top one is like, wait a minute. I'll catch you. Bring it up. Ready, go. Front. Up and over, back. <sighs> Dig deep. Come on, guys. We're coming in the home stretch. Speaking of stretch, it's gonna feel pretty good today. 
front and back. Make a nice big V, take it to 45 in between. Yes, come on, dig. Come on, come on. And ready, last set. Huh. Here we go, and dig. 30 seconds, guys. 30 seconds of this. Drive that hip, activate those abs, pull them in, work. Dig in, this is the whole deal, come on. Everything you got, everything you got. Shoulder, Shh. snuck it right in. He doesn't even know. He's like, what's happening? Yes, you're working too, friend, come on. Couple more, drive. And front and back, let's go, front and back. Now, oh, this is the time when we start to feel this guy. This is the time the bottom guy was like, I need to be done, right? Front, abs tight, back. Make it two distinct movements, guys. You're only lifting your own leg. Come on, you walk around with it all day. And back, bring it down. Oh, go ahead, give it a moment. Give it a moment, yes? Take a second to think about all of that hard work. Take a second to think about all of that hard work. That was pretty bonusy, guys. We're gonna stick with that right there. We are going to stick with that right there, all right? Listen, let's get a good stretch. Let's get a good stretch, we earned it. Soles of your feet together, oh. Woo Sit up nice and tall. Lead with your chest. Just press yourself forward just a little bit. Oh, hips are like, what just happened? Guys, we didn't even do all that much. I mean, we did, but we could do more. Yeah, maybe next week. Bring it here. Take your feet out front. Take your right leg. Cross it over left. Hug it in with a straight spine. Hug it in tight as you can. Turn it. Oh, that one feels good. We needed that one. Release it and switch. Left over right and hug it in. Hold, turn. Straight spine. Oh, good stuff. Bring it to the front. Take your right leg, bend it in front. Take your left, bend it behind. Keep both hips down. Don't, before you go forward, keep both hips down. Take this hand and reach up and away. Push this hip to the earth. Reach, reach up, don't lean. Reach across and bring it down. Feel that stretch right behind, right where we worked. All those side to side reaches, do it again. Guys, we got all those teeny tiny muscles. Backs got strong today. Now, keeping both hips down, now you can walk yourself forward. You can lead with your chest. Go to your own range of motion. Pressing forward. Backs did a ton of work. That's good stuff. We got to have that, yes? Walk it up. Beautiful. Switch. Switch. So it's bent and bent, hips down, take this arm, reach up and across, actively push this hip down while you're reaching. So you should be all feeling that stretch right here. And release, and particularly right where that hip meets those middle muscles. So do it again, reach. That's where you're gonna feel that. We need it. Bring it to the middle. Both hips stay down. Walk yourself forward to your own range of motion. If you can go down farther, go ahead. Take a deep breath. Shoulders back. You're leading with that chest. And then bring it up. Oh, beautiful stuff. Listen, come to your mat. We got a couple more guys, all fours. We're gonna get a little cat and cow here. So round and push everything up, flatten it out. Good, couple more, round and push it up. How 
about one more? Push it up and flatten it out. Now take your right hand, thread it underneath the left, palm up, shoulder down, spinal rotation. Push the other hand into the mat. Feel it behind your shoulder and through that back, right around by that hip. Bring it up, switch. Thread the other hand underneath, palm up, hips stay up. Feel that. Beautiful. Bring it to the middle, sit it back in child's pose. Reach forward. Take a couple big deep breaths here. Push those hips back and walk those fingertips forward. You're really lengthening through those back extensors because they worked a bunch today. So lengthen right through them. Big deep breath in. Exhale when you're ready. Go ahead and sit yourself up. Go ahead and sit yourself up. A couple more easy quick stretches. Seated however you feel comfortable. Roll your shoulders back. Good. Roll in front. Beautiful. Sit up with a nice straight spine. Drop your chin to your chest. Bring it to the middle, right ear to right shoulder, guys. Middle left ear to left shoulder. Beautiful. Take a big deep breath in and exhale it out. Great job. That was a ton of work, guys. Awesome job. Happy weekend. I will see you on Monday. Tomorrow, come and hang out with Janie. Have a little more core and then a little stretch and release, yes? Sounds good. Bye.